You see, people may suffer, struggle, and stress when they don't succeed, or even when they do succeed. Why? Because most people are trying to succeed to please their ego. And when you act out of fear, you are destined for pain, whether your ego achieves what it wanted or if it doesn't. And this is the problem with motivation. Motivation is fueled by the ego. You want a new car, a bigger house, promotion. Yet you want it to feel unique or superior or different. The world is full of motivation, which is why we suffer so much, no matter how successful you feel or appear. Yet we are starved of inspiration. So what are the differences between motivation and inspiration? Well, when we are motivated by something, we are obsessed by the result. We want to win. We want to see the six pack abs. We want to have the luxuries. We want to see it. But, but inspiration is about the process. Inspiration is about doing the actual things required, not because of the outcome, but because we want to do it. You see, when we are motivated, we will push and force things to happen because we're obsessed with time. I need to achieve this and that by the end of the month. Why? Inspiration is about flowing with the process. When you are inspired, you don't need to push through and force your way because you are being pulled instead. That's right. Instead of battling and fighting to get ahead, those inspired will flourish because they are not playing by the rules of the ego. And that's another thing. I mean, motivation is not enough. If all you have is motivation, then you may get far and sometimes you may even get the desired outcome. But you either won't be satisfied even when you get what you wanted or you will quit. Why? Because you are doing it for the wrong reason. But when inspired, <laughs> you are more resilient. You can rise to the occasion when it counts because you haven't been beaten as badly as you would have if you were operating from within the constraints of the ego, our false self. You see, your why, your reason will dictate how you feel every single day because those who are motivated deep down want to be significant, they want to be unique, they want to feel superior, but the ego is never full. <laughs> In fact, the ego will want something new and better as soon as you accomplish what you supposedly wanted all along. There isn't an end, and therefore you will never experience joy, happiness or peace, or even success for a sustained period of time. But when you are inspired, you are giving your all. Not to feel significant, but to feel love and connected. Inspiration is about giving and doing out of love. And is about doing something for a reason far greater than yourself. Perhaps to end suffering, perhaps to share positivity, perhaps to be the light that shines through the darkness of our collective ego, the collective suffering. So who do you want to be? What are you working toward every day? What are you doing it for? Choose inspiration instead of motivation and live a better quality life. And more importantly, give something meaningful to the world. This is how you shake up the world. This is how you generate momentum. This is how you leave a legacy. This is how people and things start to work with you rather than against you. This is how to truly live a fulfilling life. And the time is now.